Hello students, uh, we'll be looking at the 205 paper in this video clip. Uh, let's start off by looking at the chemistry notes table. Remember to do the necessary alterations over here. So for this year paper, can you please add in a little, uh, another ion over here, which is aluminium. Aluminium ion was tested in the 2004 to 2008 syllabus. Um, both aluminium and lead give off the same observation. In the first part of this uh, 205 paper, you are asked to heat a substance T strongly and test for the gas with a glowing splint. Because we need to heat the solid T strongly, we follow the um, answering format on the FAQ page 6. So I will not refer it to you now. Uh, you can refer to the FAQ page 6 on to how to write the answers for the uh, when you hit a substance strongly. So these students have written it correctly. So you describe the color of the solid before it was heated and then upon heating strongly what color was it? Uh, has it become? On cooling down, it remains a white solid. Uh, she also wrote it down the color. You need to write down the gas or any gas um, produced while you're hitting something strongly. In this case, we see a brown punching gas was produced. And there was another gas in this case, and the gas we like to glow in splint. Now from here we can tell a number of things that the one of the gas is brown in color and then the other gas uh relax the glowing splint. Do you know which gas can which gas can uh, relax the glowing splint? Yeah, it has to be oxygen. So when we hit something strongly and the brown gas and oxygen gas is uh being removed, we can safely say that uh, it's a nitrate. And if you look at this uh, reference over here, that is the question when you heat nitrates. You will find that what you have seen over there is very familiar. And you can see that uh, it's a must be a nitrate because only nitrate give up brown gas and oxygen gas. Now when you look at this reference over here, if that is zinc, if the solid T is a zinc nitrate, you will get this observation. So from here, you can roughly say that it could be aluminum nitrate or calcium nitrate, would you? So we did use more of it uh, as a later part of the experiment. And by the way, this book, book something like that, you can get it from any popular bookshop. Let's go back to the paper. So from here, you can roughly guess that it could be calcium or could be aluminum nitrates, would you? B. Carry out the following test on separate portion of the equal solution of T. And here is the familiar uh, regions that you're use, using uh, aqueous ammonia. And because uh, you're using aqueous ammonia to a 2 cm cube of the solution sample. So, we should look at this table here. So, what do you see? So, uh, white PPT form, insoluble in excess of equals ammonia. I should have written down this. From here, we can roughly stack up calcium data because for calcium, you will have any no PPT form. So, the second portion, you need to add in sodium hydroxide. Again, you saw white PPT form, soluble in excess to give a colorless solution. 
And from here, you can deduce the presence of uh, lead, aluminum, and zinc ions. How do I get this uh, information? So, sodium hydroxide. So, you can see that solubility is just given colorless, colorless solution. So, get this, this, or this. And then you are asked to do something quite unusual that is a uh, solid source of carbonate. And then you see a white PPT form. Um, Babasuki has also produced white PPT with uh, calcium hydroxide. Okay, you can get two deductions over here. It might be quite difficult for you to deduce at this junction, but uh, it can be done if you, if you think about it carefully. In this case, the sodium carbonate, which is uh, one of those um, soluble carbonates, has produced the carbonate ions, and the carbonate ions will form a soluble or insoluble carbonate with the cation of solid T. Uh, that's why you see uh, insoluble carbonate form. Uh, let me give you a simple example. So, for example, you have, say, aluminum nitrate working with sodium carbonate. You have something called aluminum carbonate. And sodium nitrate. So you can see this is the white PPT or form when you add in sodium carbonate. Of course, you can argue that it could be zinc nitrate. We are going to give you zinc carbonate and sodium nitrate. Uh, of course, this is also white PPT. You can argue that uh, it can be zinc or calcium or even lead carbonate. That's why you need to see that uh, uh, we, we could go down this possibility over here. The last part of the action that you need to do is to add uh, sodium hydroxide, aluminum, and aluminum foil, and then warm. And then this is what you should have written. Maybe you could write one more sentence as a no PPT form. So from here we can gather that the um, nitrate ions is present. And we should write like that we should write something like presence of nitrate ions. So we can conclude when after we've done all this exercise we could see that nitrates are not present because of this action over here because of the oxygen and the brown gas being produced we can never confirm that the nitrates are also present and how do we know that aluminum was present also because of this action over here white and after strong heating it's also white and uh, was white in color you can remember the uh, examples I've given you. It didn't turn into a yellow when hot or yellow when um, it's cool down, so it has to be aluminum. And from here, we can have another deduction that aluminum is present. So that should be struck off in here. This portion here we also show some possibility of aluminium and aluminium. So therefore the conclusive uh, deduction or the name of the sortie should be aluminium nitrate. Thank you.